This is Kaylee Goodfaster from North Bay Haven, rising freshman this year. Thanks for coming in. We're going to talk about us uh, being selected as an All-American. Very big honor. I mean, you're not even in high school technically, but you've been playing at the high school level for the past couple of years. Just kind of talk about, you know, the past couple of weeks and, you know, different rankings coming out, All-American list. What were kind of your thoughts when you know, the list came out and you were told that you were an All-American? Well, I, it was crazy. We were just sitting in the hotel room, nothing special, and they're like, you were an All-American. And I was like, that's ridiculous. I was beyond thankful for extra innings and all of them ranking me like that for All-American. Right, and you know, you've been, you know, like I said, playing at North Bay Haven the last, you know, couple of years, and you know, obviously last year, or two years ago as a seventh grader, you know, first team All-State, that's, you know, one way to kind of kick things off. And then this past year, you know, you're near the top of the state in home runs, you know, batting average, everything. We talked about this previously, pitchers don't really like throwing the ball in the strike zone for you. Just, you know, you already have so much high school experience and you haven't technically played a single game as a high schooler. Just kind of talk about that and what that's like being kind of the youngest of the group, but still playing at a high level. Well, it's amazing that I go to a school where I have the opportunities to be able to play and I was able to play in middle school, which is just, it's awesome. So I, I think having a bunch of experience going into high school actually now is just going to help me improve my game a lot more going forward. And playing here in the Panhandle in Bay County, you know, there's a, a lot of, you know, talented softball players, you know, whether it's at, you know, Arnold, you know, some of your rival schools that you play against, or even just at North Bay Haven, a lot of talented girls have come through that program and played on the team. And just to kind of have that high level competition and you guys are always kind of competing for a playoff spot every single year, you know, just to have all of that competition, how, how does that make you better and just kind of grow your game each season? Well, it just the competitiveness of all of it it's just it's really good it keeps you like stay it keeps you focused basically on the season playing against rivals and stuff and like the county championship it's just it, it is so fun to be in that environment because everybody's trying to win so it's just it's really awesome and so correct me if i'm wrong but your class of 2026 yes so that just makes me feel you know like a dinosaur <laughs> just saying that but you know class of 2026 so you still have four years of high school but talk to me a little bit about these rankings that came out recently because you know i heard that you were ranked you know eighth and this is a big ranking you know in the area and you know eighth for your classification out of everybody just kind of talk about that and you know to, to see your name up in the the top 10 for those rankings you know just kind of talk about those rankings a little bit I uh, just beyond grateful for people recognizing me like that and I just I don't really know what to say about it. It just makes me so happy every time because I just know hard work really does pay off. And you know for somebody of you know your caliber and your level of play softball isn't just you know a spring sport it's a year-round sport and I've been seeing you've been traveling all around the country this summer you know competing at camps. Tell me you know what are some of the camps that you've gone to this summer and where have you gone to kind of you know just kind of elevate your game this summer? This summer, I went to, I've been to Florida, I've been to Florida State, I went to Virginia Tech, Georgia, and Georgia Tech this summer. Okay, and out of those camps, was there any that kind of, you know, stood out to you? It was like, wow, like, you know, these girls here, like, they, they can play some softball. Like, this, there's, there's some high-level softball. Any of those camps that were like, man, like, this is, this is one that really made me a lot better? They, they all are beyond incredible, but one that always sticks out is Florida State because it's you know it's close by it's just still one of one of the most competitive schools that I've seen play and the players are always so so like grateful and humble and it just always makes me really happy. So you know just coming to this past season you know as an eighth grader you know you have a near 600 batting average you know you're on base back practically 70 percent of the time you walk in there and like we mentioned you know earlier this spring we spoke and we talked about you know how pitchers don't like throwing you the ball in the strike zone just kind of talk about you know what is your mindset when you walk up into the batter's box and you're getting ready and you're coming up what is kind of going through your mind each time that you walk up to the plate well I try to stay within myself and make sure that I have a plan when I'm up there. Always stick to something, you know, know what you're going to do when you walk in the plate. And so if they walk me, then they walk me. I just got to take the pitches and just accept it because it's, it's totally okay to be on first base. For the person behind me, they can hit me in easily, so it's always... And one term that you used was, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of annoying when, you know, the, the, the balls aren't coming anywhere near you, but 
you know, just to know that opposing pitchers, no matter who they are, most a lot of teams have, you know, their senior out on the mound, and, you know, you're an eighth grader, and you're kind of putting fear into a senior's mind, you know, is that something that you kind of feed off of knowing, like, all right, like, this pitcher, you know, they're scared to throw me the ball. Is that something that kind of gives you confidence? Oh, I love it. I just, I stare at the, down the pitchers all the time. I can just, it's just amazing, because I know that I'm going to get a pitch or I'm not just by looking in the pitcher's eyes. I know what they what they want to do, basically. Okay, and you know, another thing is, you know, high school softball always brings the high level energy. You know, baseball there's there's, you know, there's certain levels that they can get to, but softball is always at the next level. North Bay Haven especially one of those teams that is always loud, you know, cheering their teammates on. For you, when you're coming up, what what kind of really gets you hype? You know, do you have a certain, you know, walk-up song that's like your go-to? Is there, you know, something that's just really gets you hype? What is kind of your go-to when it's that walk-up and kind of getting ready to get excited for, for the next pitch? We don't have walk-up songs, unfortunately, for North Bay Haven right now, but definitely when I'm about to go up, just like talking to my teammates they're always like oh my gosh you're gonna hit a home run I'm like line drives but it's the teammates everybody the whole environment everybody's so happy to be there it's just that's it always drives me and you know again when you're at your age and you're just starting to come into high school and you've already had this much level of play your teammates have always you know told me like Haley you know she's such a you know humble player she doesn't let you know these rankings or these stats or anything get to her head how when when you see her name you know as an all american you know you know number 8 and you know just all state and all county and everything you know how do you kind of keep yourself humble to say like yeah you know those are nice but like i still have a long high school career ahead of me and, and i got to continue to get the job done uh, still very appreciative of the rankings, but like everything, I just know rankings are not what's going to get me to like the college level and college coaches care about hard work and like attitude and effort and all that. So I got to, if I stay with the, stay with all that, then that's what I know is going to get me to college. And for you personally, you know, like I said, you, you basically have, you know, a high school career full of stats at this point and you're just starting high school. but. Looking ahead to your high school career, freshman through senior year, what are some of the goals that you have in mind, you know, whether that's for yourself or for the team, or, you know, is, are you like, hey, like, I have four years, like, I want to bring a state championship to North Bay Haven. What, what are kind of some of your goals, and what do you want to accomplish in the next four years? Well, state championship would be great, but I just, every year, I just hope for all the girls to improve a little bit and just become better people because of softball. So that's just mainly... Just everybody just getting better every year. It's, that's what I want. Okay, and again, you know, coming back to, you know, going to all of these schools and, you know, getting, you know, looks from some of these teams so early on, it, it's, it, it can kind of, you know, have your mind all over the place of like, all right, like there's so many options, like you kind of, the world is your oyster, you know, and just to know that all of these teams, you know, Division One programs are already kind of have their eyes on you and kind of looking ahead like, all right, like, you know, 2026, you know, that year 2026, you know, what is, how does that just, you know, give you even more confidence to kind of say like, hey, I got to keep playing so these teams will continue to be interested in me. Like, I'm still only, you know, a rising, you know, freshman. How does that keep you motivated to know these teams have their eyes on me? Well, it just knowing that a D1 school would be interested in me just makes me like really happy and it gives me all the motivation in the world I would need to keep working hard and trying to improve physically everything that there is that you can improve about my game. It's just basically. And one thing about softball is, you know, as far as college softball, it is the fastest growing sport in America for people watching. It has grown more than football and baseball, you know, combined in the last, you know, five, ten years on, you know, growing on ESPN and viewership. And to see the future kind of growing in that way and know, you know, hey, like I could be, you know, on one of those Division One teams playing on ESPN one day. Just, you know, how cool is it to you to see that the softball is growing in that way and that, you know, you could be a part of the future of the sport, you know, maybe playing on ESPN one day. It's amazing just to know how how much the sport has grown. Like viewers, everybody's watching it so much more. Like the College World Series had like the most viewers this year out of every year, which is just amazing to know that hopefully one day I can play on that stage and maybe go even further than college. Awesome, and there's a lot of great, you know, softball, a lot of great athletes that have come out of this area, gone on and played, you know, the Division One, you know, playing at higher levels. 
Uh, Michaela Edenfield, she's over at you know Florida State. She's from Sneeds. Uh, Chloe Temples, she was at Mariana. She's at BYU. And to know that you know you could also one day be one of those players to represent Bay County, Panama City. You know, how does Field you know like hey like I I'm competing for more than just myself. Like I could you know soon be representing an entire community. It's it feels amazing. Like I I got the chance to talk to Michaela the other day at Florida State which we were just talking about the environment like down here in Panama City, like what it's like and just to even have the chance to maybe follow in her footsteps would be awesome. Well, I won't keep you too much longer. Just a couple more questions and then <laughs> we'll wrap things up. But, you know, like I said, softball is just an amazing sport. You know, it's fast paced, it's fun, it's exciting. You know, what is softball given to you that you, is there anything, you know, that softball is kind of given to you that's like, hey, like, I kind of owe it to this sport to, you know, do the best I can, put my hard work out there. Why do you just love the game of softball so much? I've been playing softball since I was like six years old. So softball is like, it's the only thing I really know. It's like one of the best hobbies I've ever had. I can stick to it. I, it's so reliable. Anything I, I just don't want to do, I just go play softball and it's just, it's fine. I know how to do it. There's no, well, there's pressure, but like there's no really like that much pressure on it. If you're like just practicing or whatever, it's just, it's amazing. I can just turn a softball just for anything I want to really. And we mentioned Michaela Edenfield and obviously she's one of the best hitters in all of college <laughs> baseball. And you know, you are always out there every time that you're at the plate, there's a chance that, you know, you could hit it way over the fence, out of the stands. And, you know, is there anybody that you model your game after, anybody that you kind of look up to do, be like, I want to play like that girl. I want to be, you know, her at the college level. Anybody that's kind of your idol with softball? Uh, I definitely have to say Jesse Warren because ever since we've lived in Florida, I've always looked up to her and I've always wanted to be just like her. And at every event I'd run into her, it just, she's so, She's just amazing. She's always so nice and just love her. One final question for you and just coming back to, you know, you've never played a single game of softball as a high schooler. This year will be your first year in high school and just kind of starting off that fresh page of like, all right, you know, I've played high school softball. This is nothing new. Does anything change for you knowing like I'm a freshman or is it always just like, all right, I got to go out there and do my job regardless that this is just my goal is to go out there and win games. I think it's going to be different though because I am in high school, but it's always, it's, it's a job. You got to make sure you know what you're doing and you got to do it the best you can. So I just want to stick to trying to go back to my fundamentals and just play as best as I possibly can and just hope for the best for the season will take us. Awesome. Well, without any kind of direct question, is there anything else that you want to add or anything that I haven't touched on that you'd like to mention uh, before we go? I don't think so. Sounds good. Well, this is Kaylee Goodpastor, a rising freshman at North Bay Haven. Thank you for coming in and talking with us. Thank you for having me.